Okay, so good morning, good evening, good afternoon, depending on uh, where you are around the world. And welcome once more to um, teachings of the School of Timeless Wisdom. Now, today we're going to speak about how to use color for your well being. And uh, in fact, we don't really uh, realize how color affects us. Color is extremely important in every hour of our lives. Ironically, uh, color is perceived by the eyes in such a manner that uh, we receive healing through color. And sometimes color can dis disturb us but we don't realize this. Um, so how I'm, I'm, I choose to start by telling you a little bit about um, the significance of color in our life because we can use it to improve lots of things. And in order to understand what color is, we need to know that Hi. Colors, colors are a measure. And uh, hello, <laughs> so we were already started. Please mute yourselves, all right? So uh, we use actually color to improve the quality of our lives without realizing because color uh, kind of like uh, affects the brain nerve and thus affects every single function in the body. And uh, the brain interprets vibration of light coming to it as color. So when light passes through a prism and we get all the rainbow spectrums, what usually happens is that um, the lights coming out of the spectrum, they, if you've noticed, they correlate with the auras in the body, the chakras in the body, it affects the aura of the body and color also translates not just as energy, but it also translates as sound. So do is red, re, orange, mi, yellow, fa, green, and so on. So every color has some sort of um, music, musical interpretation. And even by uttering the word red or green or blue, it has an effect on the nervous system, believe it or not, because uh, colors fall into two categories, the warm colors and the cool colors. And they're all used to heal the body. Now, how do we heal the body? We heal the body through color because color is a wavelength and we are creatures of energy. So when you interact with a specific wavelength that's coming from that specific color, it enters your body and it kind of like heals or distorts something depending on um, where you are or how you are feeling. So for example, uh, in, uh, if, if we are going to interpret color in nanometers, um, red is 700 and violet dash blue starts from 400. So every single color has its wavelength, has its own vibration. And this is how we heal. Now, how can we use color to heal ourselves? There are a variety of ways, and we spoke last time about gems, gemstones. Gemstones are a great or enormous uh, healers of the body through their own color and quality. Especially in the past, they used to, for example, have, if you have a big ruby <laughs> or amethyst room, and you, uh, direct light through it, it heals the body according to the ailment. Now, how can you do healing through 
um, colors. Well, I'll start with the simplest, with the easiest methods, ranging from what you can eat and drink to what you can wear. And this way we can enhance or boost our metabolism, our uh, kind of like um, blood purification, detoxification, and so on. Okay, so the easiest and simplest way is to drink a color. <laughs> and how can we drink a color? It is so easy. Just bring um, a glass or a bottom of the seven colors of the chakras, starting with red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and uh, and um, put those bottoms, like they should be transparent with this color. So it's a transparent bottle, like a glass bottle, but has got the seven colors of the chakras. Add water to it and leave it in the sunlight. So the rays of the sun have to go through the transparent bottle. You can leave it all day long. You can leave it for several days. And uh, some people heal with the sunlight because it's got specific properties. And some people heal with the moonlight, but this is a different story. So you can either leave it in the sunlight or in the moonlight, exactly the way you purify gemstones as we spoke last time. Now leave it and then the following day drink it and it will heal you because uh, every color will heal a different chakra. So you've got your healing, your, your kind of drinking your color, drinking the color that would target a specific chakra. And this way you balance them all. And this should be an ongoing process. Now, every day has a specific color. I can't cover it here, but we can cover it later on or in a workshop. So you can target the color of the day. And you can simply just target the color of the chakras and drink them every day. Now, if, for example, you are feeling um, tired, congested, and you've got a very important talk or you're teaching, drink blue. If you feel you're heavy hearted or you're not breathing properly, drink green. Uh, if you've got indigestion, or you need to stimulate your thinking, drink yellow. If you want to spiritually focus and meditate, drink uh, indigo, violet. Uh, if you have problems with uh, the sex chakra or the sacral chakra or with your emotions, drink orange. <laughs> and to ground yourself, if you're feeling you're not grounded or you have problems with your blood, drink red. So the simplest way is to use a transparent glass bottles that are colored with all the colors of the um, chakras and kind of like drink that water bottle by bottle or cup by cup or glass by glass. Or you can drink one color per day and see how that color uh, helps you and if you feel that you're, it really boosted you, then concentrate on this color until you feel balanced. The second easiest way to use color to heal your bodies is in your bathroom. Like when you're having a bath, you know these um, salt crystals? So you can get salt crystals also, all the seven colors of the chakras. And this way, uh, uh, you can use one color every time you have a bath. So you, you soak yourself in green, you soak yourself in yellow, or you can actually uh, put all colors in the bathtub, the salts, all salts, and just soak yourself in them. And they'll do a great deal for you. If, for example, you don't have a bathtub, uh, just bring some sort of vessel 
and put that color and soak your feet. It will do wonders. Uh, now, how to use color for healing to penetrate the skin? This is so easy. You, all you need to do is get transparent, you know, uh, sheets, color sheets, all the seven colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, all the seven colors of the chakras and um, put them on the window or on your glass window or hang them in a way that the sunlight passes through them and falls on you and your body will absorb them. Sometimes I just, um, you know, my side table lamp, I cover it with uh, um, like red or orange or the color that I really need and uh, switch the light when it's nighttime. And I feel I really like this color. Now your quickest, simplest, easiest way to know which color you really want is when you look at the colors and a color attracts you, it means you're lacking this color. The eye is always drawn to the thing that it needs. Trust, you, trust your eyes, trust how you feel. It's exactly like opening your wardrobe in the morning and you'd say, oh my God, the yellow is calling out to me today and you wear it. Now, by the way, if we don't do this, we receive colors daily. And how? Because the day is exactly like a human being. It's got its own colors. It transmits colors and throughout the day to balance you. That is, if you're really out there and receiving things from nature, even at home. So for example, uh, with dawn, dawn time, um, up to kind of like uh, the early, early, like from dawn to sunrise, you get violet, it starts with violet to indigo. You're getting this color. Straight after sunrise, you will be getting blue. Hmm? Mother nature sends you these colors. Now, when it comes to midday, you'll be receiving green, the green energy. Late afternoon, it will start to be yellow, moving on to orange, and finally with sunset and nightfall, black, uh, red into black. So if you're out in nature, that's why they're saying it's very important to be in nature. You are receiving all these colors. Your body's soaking them. But if you don't have the privilege of going out all the time and just receiving direct sunlight, then please use color in what? In, in, in your um, uh, bath, uh, in the water you drink, and in the clothes you wear. Now, um, another way of utilizing color easily is to actually uh, make sure that your house, the house you live in, has got all the colors. Like sometimes I enter specific houses and everything is gray or everything is white. And I know that while, while the white color calms, purifies, is good, but you don't have the rest of the colors of the chakras. And I'm not saying go change your furniture. You can, for example, on your sofa, uh, simply add um, the seven colors by adding pillows of different colors. Or your bed sheet, uh, change the bed sheet, bring the seven colors of the bed sheet. So every time you have a different bed spread, bed sheet, pillows, and so on sleep with the color. <laughs> now, how to dress? Dressing, it's kind of like every day has a theme. Every day has a theme. And I'm going to speak very quickly about the daily um, planet. Every day has a planet that's got a color that affects you. For example, when we say Sunday, it's from the sun. So the color of the day, and I'm here when I speak, speak about the color of the day, it's not the color of the night. It's from sunrise to sunset. 
So Sunday from sunrise to sunset, on the sun, it's yellow. That's the main theme for that day. Monday, moon day. From sunrise to sunset, it's white. So if you wear yellow on a Sunday, white on a Monday. Tuesday is Mars, so it's red. Wednesday, Mercury. It is um, greenish, green. Thursday and Friday are what I call happy colors, bright colors. So just wear bright colors, not black. Black is not happy color. <laughs> but wear vibrant day and Friday. We go for red. I sometimes go reddish happy uh, colors, all right? And tell me, I don't want to wear black or white all day. You don't have to, but it's a bit like a scarf. On Saturday, like a black dress, put a white scarf or a white shawl or accessories. You can add it. You can add to the color things that boosts it. Now, the kings and queens in the past used to dress hourly, not just daily. <laughs> I'm here giving you the day. But every day for the morning, there are 12 hours for the day that have 12 different colors. And from sunset to, to sunrise, there are also 12 hours and every hour has a specific color. And you can use this for meditation, spirituality, to uh, boost what you are doing, uh, see the theme of every hour to help yourself. And I'll, I promise to um, do a workshop about this and I will at, at some um, future date. Uh, so this is just like very quickly saying how every day has its own color. And if you don't stick to that color, at least take an item of the day, of uh, the theme of the day and carry it with you. It will boost you, it will help you. Take it as good luck if you want to say it that, or if you want to see it that way. Now, um, Colors are interesting because um, they affect your moods. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes you just look at someone and you say, oh, you look great. They look great because either they are wearing the color that their body needs. So it's kind of like making their auras glow or the color of the hour or the color of the day. That's it. So this is why. And we, we can also heal the body by doing various things, not just drinking your color or soaking yourself in your color. The most important thing to do is your food. The food you eat has color. So how to know that you are eating a balanced diet is if you look at your dining table and you see all colors reflected. So for example, if you have a green salad, um, you can have greens in it, then tomatoes, add the red, uh, yellow uh, peppers, uh, onions are white, uh, or you get the uh, purple onions, or you add beetroot. Uh, just make sure that you've got all the colors of the chakras in your food. And this way it helps. Now, of course, there are... Um, specific foods that boost specific areas of the body, but I can't go into this. It needs a talk on its own. Uh, but the most important thing is add variety, add color. The more color there are on your plate, the healthier you are. And try and eat things in um, as natural as possible, right? Nothing canned. 
um, nothing with added ad additives and preservatives, just as natural as, pos as possible. Now, how to use color also? Uh, color, every color has its own indication. Like, um, I'm going to go through color properties very quickly. Um, not necessarily um, everything that a color does, because for example, just as the chakras balance your body, and they uh, seep into one another and you find that different chakras, uh, sometimes two different chakras heal the same thing. So colors also blend together, okay? So um, let me just give you an overall kind of like, um, like a quick scan of how you can use color in your life. So color therapy, it's usually called chromotherapy or color therapy, and it's very important. And I would just say either drink the color, wear the color, or uh, uh, soak in the color, whatever way you choose to deal with your color, deal with it. For example, I'm going to start with um, red, because red is the root chakra that grounds you to Mother Earth. It's a color. Red is a warm color. It has, it's the longest uh, wavelength, but uh, uh, it uh, is a warm color that energizes the body. So it's kind of like, it's very active and it helps with fatigue. So if you're fatigued, wear red. If you're, you feel you're coming down with a cold, you've got the chills, wear red. And it also gives positive, this is the blood circulation. Remember last time when we spoke about gemstones, we said if you, for the root chakra, wear hematite, and hematite comes from the world in, 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 in Greek, and it's, it improves the blood circulation. It's also very good for people with low blood pressure because it boosts their blood pressure and uh, it energizes all the organs in general. Um, and the senses, it increases your sense of taste, smell, touch, so on. It's also a sexual color, you know, it's like sexuality, you know, they always say that or use this symbol, the lady in the red dress. So if everyone's walking in the street and a lady is wearing red, everyone looks at her. <laughs> So uh, red is a color that is not easily ignored. And uh, uh, red is also um, activity. It stimulates ovulation and it's fertility. It's the color of blood. It's, it helps with the cell growth and uh, it excites the nerves. So, uh, it's got a lot of properties. Now, if you are suffering from anemia, wear red. And um, also, uh, there are colors to avoid. So when do we avoid red or wearing red or drinking red or soaking in red or being surrounded by red or, or sleeping on a red sheet or a red pillow? is when you're anxious because it kind of like stimulates you. you. You don't need more stimulation. And when you have fever, red, uh, inflammation. So um, any inflammation in the body, please avoid red, okay? Now, let's jump to, I'll just take them chakra by chakra. So we spoke about red. And what about, for example, orange, right? The sacral chakra, the emotional chakra, the seat of emotions. Now, it's a warm color, and it's usually very cheerful, you know? Like, uh, we say these are cheerful people, friendly. Um, it's 
indication of freedom. And if you've noticed that orange is usually worn by, you know, those uh, the, the, the people in India around the temples are always wearing orange because it's kind of like um, a color that calls out and says, hello, I'm friendly, I'm sociable. <laughs> it's also, uh, it boosts optimism and it, uh, it is very good for expressing the self and for sexuality as well, just like red. Uh, and it boosts your metabolism. Now, what does orange or kind of like orange therapy help with? Thyroid, hypo and hyperthyroid, thyroidism. It also helps with any menstrual problem ailments and with the gout so it, this is what it, it helps with orange now how do we use um, yellow yellow actually is one of my favorite colors because of the sun and uh, by the way ancient egyptians in ancient china uh, you know, the ancient civilizations, they all use color therapy. It's a pity that we lost it along the way and it was only discovered like uh, a century ago, a little over, over a century ago. And that's when now it's coming back and we're healing with color. Now, yellow uh, is very good for the nerves because it helps you center yourself and it calms the nerves and the mood. It's also very good for any mental activity. If you uh, want to think about something or going into deep mental thought. Um, and it uh, boosts kind of like your sense of power, you know, because it's the power here. It's, it's, it's the source of your body energy. So it's very good. It helps with lots of things. It uh, also is good for brain activity and uh, stimulates quick thoughts, clarity, mental clarity, and so on. So yellow helps with the um, people who have got problems with the liver and uh, cleansing the liver. And if you also have uh, problems with your Lymph, lymph system, lymphatic system. Uh, do not use yellow if you've got a fever again, and if you've got diarrhea or inflammation. Do not use yellow. Try and avoid it. So, what about green? Green is the color of nature. And when we're in nature, we get everything that we need. So it's the most calming color. It's the most healing from my point of view. And when you're in, among green, among trees, what is it? It's oxygen. It reads with the breath, the lungs. And um, it's uh, the color for harmony. It's the color, um, if someone is hard-hearted or aggressive, it's good to be um, stimulated with the color green. It rejuvenates, just like nature rejuvenates you. It heals, smooths, calms, uh, works for emotional stability. And uh, it helps with the muscles. Now, it mostly helps with people who have got asthma, bronchitis, and are suffering from uh, things that have to do with uh, the breath and the lungs. So some people also say it helps with the bones. I think also being out in the sun <laughs> helps with your uh, vitamin D. Okay, so this is as far as green goes and um, green just heals everything. 
<laughs> green is wonderful. Why? Because the heart chakra, green, it's in the middle. So it's in the middle of the three upper chakras and the chakras below. So it's balance. If there is one color I would just focus on, for me, it's green because I don't feel that it would harm anyone. I mean, but I'm making a disclaimer. I'm not a, I, I'm, I'm not a color therapist here. I'm just using what science or scientists have said. Uh, then uh, indigo. Indigo, blue, indigo, no, blue, blue, then indigo. Blue. Blue is a cooling color and it is seen as um, some schools say that if you've got flu, if you've got a cold, use blue. Others say avoid blue because it's cool. It's a cooling color. Anyway, it's an astringent, antiseptic, and uh, it promotes growth because it boosts the metabolism. It's, uh, from my point of view, it's very good for people who suffer from insomnia and uh, epilepsy and so on. I would say if you've just got problems with the throat chakra, like I, I usually use a lot of blue. So as I said, some people say, do not use it for a cold, for arthritis, for things like this, but I found that when I need to speak and I've got a cold, a common cold, I, use, I wear a blue scarf because it boosts the, the immunity. You can only go with trial and error. No two bodies are the same. I'm just giving you broad uh, kind of like um, uh, information, uh, uh, just general information and every body reacts. The things that help me most is when I wear the color of the day. And I target things that help me as I go along uh, according to the area where the chat that's affected, I just boost it with that color and it works. <laughs> to put it very simply. Now, how to use um, indigo? Uh, indigo is a purifier and they say that it purifies the blood so again it affects the blood just like the root chakra does and um, it's it's got many benefits especially for people because um, it targets the third eye so people with mental problems with ailments uh, it helps them now, others say that it really helps with bronchitis, with asthma, with pneumonia. So they all feed into one another. Finally, violet color for the crown chakra. And violet color is the most, they call it the most royal color because in the past to produce it, to produce purple, it was very expensive and only nobility, royalty were allowed to wear it or could afford it. And it is the most mystic color, mysterious color. It's also associated with magic. <laughs> it's a magical color, but it is uh, the color that uh, deals with transformation. And it's the transformation of uh, the, the, the soul or the person to become uh, a kind of like more in resonance with the self. And uh, it's because it's the crown, it has everything to do with the, the head. And it's very good for people who feel down, who feel apathy, who uh, suffer from mental illnesses, from illusions, it calms them down. Also, it is very healing for people with addictions like uh, alcohol and so on. Now, it's the color that helps you with spiritual insight and it uh, stimulates many organs like the skin. And um, it helps also with 
sleep. It helps with soothing. And uh, I would say that it, uh, it's kind of like, because it's very calming, people who suffer from kind of like uh, addictions to things like sexuality, you know, sexually addicted, it's good to, to surround them with a violet color. Uh, so the, these are the colors very quickly in a nutshell. And this is how we can use color to boost our life, our <laughs> lifestyle. So we, I covered colors generally. And of course, colors, every color has a statement. So when you wear a specific color, colors are symbols. Symbols of, who, of the statement that, or something that we want to say about ourselves. You can go the color by um, adding black to it, or you can um, kind of like tone down a color if it's too flashy by adding white scarf white to it. So it kind of like tones it down. You just need to play around with what happens and we can take the influence of colors more in, uh, on a separate occasion of how the hours, every hour has its own color and how to use the color of the hour to help us gain mental clarity, healing and so on. So here this, I hope today's briefing uh, would help you choose your color and change your wardrobe for a better, lifestyle. And I'll see you next week. Thank you.